Got it. All right. Well, welcome to the October community meeting, everybody. Um, my name is Ethan. Um, I'll, I'm part of the steering committee on behalf of uh, the steering committee. I just want to say welcome to this community meeting. Um, if you're here today or if you're watching this uh, afterwards in recorded form, excited that you were able to join us and, and tune in. Um, given that we have a little bit of a smaller group, we're going to skip Mentimeter today. And given that the conference is coming up in very short order, um, we're just going to jump right into some operational updates and organizational updates. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it over to Nicole for that. Absolutely. So I guess just for those who may be joining us for the first time or listening to one of these recordings for the first time, the uh, Open Education Conference is supported uh, this year and last year by a partnership of four organizations, OpenStax, Spark, the University System of Maryland, and Colorado Department of Higher Ed. Uh, we have a dual focus this year on both organizing the Open Ed 21 conference, which is coming up in just over a week, and also supporting a strategic planning process to chart the future of the conference. So uh, this meeting is being hosted by the conference's steering committee, but there are many people involved in helping to make this conference a success. Uh, we have five standing committees, program, DEI, communication, strategic planning, and engagement. And then we also have over 100 people who have volunteered their time to support the program review process and hosting sessions during the conference. So. Uh, and we very much have, have worked to make this a community-driven event. So with that, um, oh, just quickly to address Mentimeter, we're, we won't be doing Mentimeter today. Uh, so with that, I will turn it over to Aisha for a quick update on where we are with the Open Ed 21 conference. Aisha? Hey, everyone. Um, just want to note that registration is still open and the conference is taking place October 18th through 22nd, so almost a week away, which is really exciting. Um, in the last week before you, the conference started, the registration rate has gone up to Did we just lose Aisha? Most likely be filling, accepting the last scholarship applications at the end of next week, so there is still a chance to apply and there is still a chance to register. And then also um, the schedule is live. And if you are already registered, you can go ahead and build your schedule and also view it. So, oh, I'm so sorry that if you lost me, my connection's a bit wonky, but registration is open. Scholarships are still open. Um, and you can also build your schedule and view it live. As you can see on the screen, I also That's really exciting. And if you haven't browsed our schedule yet, there's a lot of great sessions. And I really, really recommend for you to build your schedule ahead so you're not <laughs> stuck on the first day of, of the conference looking for what you want to attend because there's so many great sessions. And yeah, the next thing up is an update on the strategic planning process, which I can go ahead and pass over to Haley. Sure, thanks so much, everyone. Um, so this is just a very brief update. Um, as you know, sort of the last uh, part in our process was the public consultation on our strategic vision, um, or our draft strategic vision, I should say rather. Um, so that is uh, nearly complete, we're very excited to say. So um, we will have a lot more information to share with you at the conference when we sort of have uh, the captive attention of, of the attendees. Um, so very much looking forward to that. I know we have um, the Friday plenary dedicated to a really robust sort of community conversation about um, the next steps in our planning process. So do keep an eye out um, for that and, and we'd love to see you there. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, just sort of uh, hang tight for about one more week um, and we'll be really excited to, to talk about next steps about what's, what's gonna uh, be held in the future of the conference. So. Um, thanks everyone for supporting the process so far. And that's all from me.
Great. So uh, I guess next up we have uh, just an open Q and A session. So our um, our first question is just what. Uh, are people most looking forward to at this year's conference? Feel free to unmute or stick your answer in the chat. Um, I can I can jump in first and get us started. Um, one thing I'm really excited about is um, seeing the Open Ed Conference kind of move really to like the the bleeding edge of some of the conversations that the field is having having around equity and representation, but also like how OER intersects with other uh, major social questions. Um, so I've been really excited to see kind of all of the different sessions talking about that stuff. Um, and I'm excited to attend as many of those as I can. Echoing some, that, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, seeing some good stuff in the chat that I identify with. Uh, the people, of course, from Wendy. Um, Lisa says, I get to hang with y'all next week. Um, plus, we have some pretty amazing sessions. Agree with that. And I think one of the best parts about the open ed community is the people. So. So a couple of the things that will be in the schedule to help support interaction among participants. Each day will start and end with what we call the early show and late show, which is a 25 minute session that provides a preview to the day and a wrap up to the day. Different guests will be invited each, uh, each session and it'll uh, provide space for people to just talk about, you know, which sessions they're going to, what they're interested in and promote more informal conversation. Between, uh, program sessions, there will also be half hour breaks called tea time. There'll be activities, programs by uh, our colleague Lisi and the engagement team during those sessions. Everything from hanging out in Discord to uh, just general community discussions to uh, doing some jigsaw puzzles together and, and things like that. So the team worked really hard to put together a number of sessions that, that would help support people to just unwind a little bit. Like there'll be games like Scribble Pictionary, <laughs> uh, which is actually something that I am deeply passionate about and excited to, to uh, participate in. And uh, there will also be a few yoga sessions, which was very popular last year. So really looking to create space for people to connect and hang out with each other more informally, just given that uh, there, there isn't such thing as hallway conversations in virtual conferences. Any other suggestions or ideas? There's a lot in the chat. People are excited about the OER Yoki. <laughs> um, we'll see what that's gonna look like. Ethan is hosting Among Us, which will be fun. Spencer is excited to reconnect. I think I'm really excited. There's looks like there's a lot of great sessions um, that are very student oriented. Um, so just sort of love um, that that's happening and um, can't wait to hear directly from them. Um, I think it's, it's super, super cool. Lisi, say more about that. Yeah, that's probably the session I'm most excited <laughs> about is, um, so it was a little bit of Nicole's idea and then the, the engagement committee was lucky enough to 
to be able to, to work out somebody to do this. So since the conference would have been hosted in Maryland, it was really important to sort of do an homage as, as it were. Uh, it was absolutely not my idea. <laughs> but well, so Nicole's half of the idea was we need to do something to represent that the conference would have been in Maryland and crab cakes and Maryland blue crab is huge, obviously in Maryland. So we were lucky enough to find a professional chef who was going to do a crab cake cooking demonstration on Monday and then talk about technique, uh, talk about anything related to Maryland, just chatting about food in general. So I think that'll be a nice little, yeah, vegan crab. We could ask him about that too. He seems very, <laughs> Nicole's like, absolutely not. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't imagine it'd be very tasty, but that's one of the very fun evening events that we have planned. I will be watching that recording because I have class on Monday night, but I'm also very excited about that. And I have nothing against crabs. I just prefer not to eat it. <laughs> You don't like your food to have eyes? I really Look at don't. you. <laughs> <laughs> and I also don't like imitation food with eyes. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. And uh, yes, I believe actually the professional chef is uh, a culinary educator at one of the Maryland institutions that are part of the uni university system hosting the conference. So although we can't actually partake in <laughs> the food that we would have been eating had we been in Maryland this year, uh, hopefully it'll be a, a fun way to, uh, to connect. All right, so any other just sessions you've seen on the agenda that anybody's excited about that you'd like to point out? Hearing none, I think we can move forward to the next part of this meeting, which is just a reminder, some reminders and wrapping up. And I'm not sure who was assigned that. So I can do it. Our next community meeting will be on November 12th, <laughs> which is uh, after the conference. So this uh, organizing team will be transitioning out at the end of the year. Uh, but we committed to continue holding open public meetings and will continue to do so uh, for the rest of the year. So the next meeting will be uh, an opportunity to debrief the conference and uh, all of the things that happen there. So that information is up on our website. And then we also have, uh, uh, we will be putting out a lot of stuff on our social media accounts over the next week about how to prepare for the conference. So please follow us at Hey Open Ed, and also watch your email for just uh, invitations to Discord and uh, an attendee guide and everything you need to do to prepare for the conference in a little bit over a week. So with that, uh, anything anybody else would like to add before we stop? Thumbs up. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming and we will see you October 18th. Everybody.